next up, Command. No, wait. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Command, oh, man. I keep mixing them up. This needs to be a little rough. Because I know Blade Man beats Strike Man. Yep. Commando Man is good for Blade Man. I'll say, Striker Man's also one of the recommended first dumb uh, bosses to go after, although I wouldn't say so, because... Oh yeah, destroy those bombs, you'll have one of those traps coming after you shooting that shit, so if you can avoid those traps, you probably should. Well, oh, that's what those guys are for. It's like they know. Well, that one hides above ground to me. He's above his hand to be a dick. Fuck! Thanks for the energy, asshole. Yep. Another split path. Sandstorm! Yep. It's like pushing like wind and hides the terrain. And you have those assholes coming out of the ground. Well, to be fair, that wasn't Not as hard. much of a pain as the ones in Mega Man 9, but still a bit of a pain. I mean, I can take the right rush gen and go all the way across it, to be fair. You could. As long as you don't run into anything, of course. Get out of my way! Hey, you got rid of all my bubbles with your bubbles! Slow you, dick! Yeah, fuck you. Oh, well, go down, I guess we're going the other way now. <laughs> I guess we're going this way now. I just take the position on you. Oh, in all fairness, I think there is a weapon tank down here. I think the other way might have led to an E-tank. But again, I don't recall. Fuck you. Ow! I had to slide, but no. That's only for Proto Man. I'll take that. Well, thank you! Yeah, fuck. My luck still runs strong, I suppose. See, this one's a little easier, but it does still have the sand run through, I think. Yep. But the other way. Remember to, run, get, to push yourself forward a little bit every once in a while if you're trying Not to get get, uh, the get, uh, get thrown back to. Yeah. That was, there's a lot of intervals in between the, uh... You're gonna think about rush boiling? No. Oh, bubble shielding. Oh, they do explode, though. Yeah. Oh, it is an E-tank down here. Fine rush! Fine rush! Oh! Yep, they also blow with the wind. Okay, new plan. Yeah, it's... This level's pretty tough, too. The walls of the game is probably the second toughest, in my opinion. It's weird. The next stage is one of my least favorite robot masters, but the stage itself I don't find to be too terrible. Even though, to be fair, the stage itself can also be pretty busy. It's pretty hard, though. Probably the fourth hardest, in my opinion. To be fair, a lot of this game does do a lot of... Actually, this might actually be a little bit easier, because the thing is... You can run back to safety. For now! Actually, what am I doing? Here! Ow! I wasn't high enough. Fuck you. Yeah. You'd either have to jump high, you'd have to, have to fly high enough, or jump your times accor time your jumps accordingly. Jump those tanks. Well, at least in Mega Man 11, we know. You know, despite how much I do like Mega Man 9 and 10, I am kind of glad they're going away from the NES style. Yeah. That is the one thing I'm not the biggest yeah. fan of with 9 and 10. It's like. Here's the thing, though. I mean, I understand why it needs I mean, to be yeah. done. They're basically like, hey, you want to, guys, you guys want to see a good Mega Man game like 2 and 3 were? We're going to do that for you. Like, we'll have to still remind you that, too. It's like, did you guys remember that we were playing Mega Man? Did you guys remember that we were playing Mega Man? We know you guys love Mega Man 2 and 3, so we'll have it in Mega Man 2 styles, because those are the ones everybody loves. Yeah, even though... And this is coming from a guy that likes Mega Man 2, how I... I know. Like, yeah, with... it's more because... it's more for the two of us, we just feel it's overrated, because... It's good, but it's not the best one. Especially with how it's... Then again, guess the same could say, WOOHOO! <laughs> I <can't. laughs> I guess the same could be said about Mega Man 3. Yeah. I mean... Like you, like you said, you looking into it, you did see that some of, you could see some of the things like how rushed it was, like the fact that Spark Man's weapon does freaking nothing to anybody. Yeah. Except for the boss weakness. Well, it does stun at least. It does something. Like, there's That's some, more than I can take for Mega Man X3 with gravity. There are well. some, some shortcuts that they took when making that game. Although, 
In all fairness, some of the shortcuts they took actually made the game kind of interesting. Like, the fact that every boss's weakness could be a secondary weakness for themselves. I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. That's something I wish more than Mega Man games had, like, kind of a secondary weakness thing. Like, maybe not something that does, like, a lot of damage or as much damage, but... Then again, I could say the only game I felt like might have done that was Mega Man X7. Then again, it's like, use a shitty weapon or use a be weapon that actually works. Which is not many of them, mind you. <laughs> Pick your poison, I suppose. Yeah, careful here! Yeah, I could not tell how yep. far that... That's a tough one. Let you, gotta, me. you gotta keep tapping yourself forward. Okay. Just try to memorize your distance if you can. Yeah, that's the fun thing about X7. Their weakness may not even be what you want to use because they're worthless as fuck. <laughs> Tornado Tanya will be a perfect example of that one. It does actually do damage to him, I learned, just not much. And it stuns him for a it makes him invincible for a long time afterwards, so. You're better off just shooting him repeatedly with your buster or whatever and just listening to his screams of agony. Oh! 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 <laughs> Fucking. I will say, one good thing about playing that game with the Life Sea Collection, they got rid of the repeated use of around and around! He doesn't do that nearly as much. They did the same thing for... Did they fix that for Flame Heinard? Oh god, no! <laughs> they left Flame Heinard the same way they intended it. Why the... F of course. I don't think that was intended. Whoever the fuck decided to play <laughs> that as it was, I want to punch him in the face. Uh, good old Peter Von Gomm. I mean, a decent voice actor, but not for it's that. A, it's the direct. It's the. It's, it's the direction. I won't play the voice actors for that game. But those voice actors are actually good. Yeah. It's just whoever was the one who decided to have them act the way they did. Oh dear. It's the voice director. Whoever decided to do that needs to be fired and punched in the face. Like the best ones are freaking one that sounds uninspired at times and one who sounds like fucking Claw. <laughs> the one who's super quiet to the point where you can't hear what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. In his deep voice. This is our chance. Ah! Oh, you didn't go forward enough. I keep thinking I'm... I know. Yeah. That's... It's very disorienting. This stage is hard with its freaking sandstorms. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you hit, you hit, hit the, the home, home button. button. Hit the home button again? Yeah, you can hit the home button. No, hit the... Or that. And there's your pause menu. Hit B to get out of it. Yeah. So, you can make checkpoints if you feel a little bit, uh, uneasy about this. Yep. Which is nice. So basically, if you leave the game and hit, um, continue from the, uh, Legacy Collection menu, it'll bring you right back to, like, something like this. Which is appreciated in some regard, because... I usually try to turn it off, though, because, well, the only game I used that for was Mega Man 7. Because, fuck, why was the actual 7? Mm -hmm. Yep. I turned it on to save it for right before the entirety of the fortress. Although, you could also save a checkpoint for before the Wily Capsule, so yeah. And well, truth be told, I did use a checkpoint for beating Mega Man 9 with Proto Man, because all of Wily in Mega Man 9 is brutal as fuck. Oh. I don't know what phase I hate the most. The first phase or the second phase? And the Wily Capsule itself is difficult too, like. Say what you want about Capsule in Mega Man 7. Going the entirety of the fight in Mega Man 9 is hell. Yeah. I mean, three fights versus two. Pick your poison, I suppose. Yeah. But... At least the first fight in Mega Man 7 is hard. It's only the Capsule that's brutal. Yeah, but... In 9, it's like every phase is tough. The first one feels like RNG may have to be in your favor for some of that. Yeah, the second one... The second one, tough hitbox to find, and third, it's a Wily Capsule. It's about what you'd expect. Yeah. Easier than in 7, but maybe a little harder than the one in 8. Definitely harder than the one in 8. 8 was really 8 easy. was pretty easy. 7's is fucking brutal, though, although I did learn to dodge around his attacks, so... I still need E-Tanks to beat him, though, but I could beat him with only two E-Tanks used. Well, I'm back. Let's see how badly I die again. Go push against the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make it! I can try, damn it! God, please, make it all the way to the end. Yes! Yes! Okay, we're through the hell now. 
I don't think there's any of that again. Or if there is, it's easy to not die to it. Yeah. Easy to not die, got it. Well, we do not have a lot of rush yet, so hopefully we can persevere now. Yep, every single one of these pits I think is gonna have one of those fuckers. Just take a fucking time! Because goddamn these sandstorms are not gonna let them kill me like this. Yeah, I was about to say, like, then the sandstorm comes and kills me behind my back. Fuck! <laughs> We're gonna go the way you're not looking! We're gonna move towards the way you're looking! Why? To make Even it hard for you. Fuck off! On all fairness, you could use the sandstorm to your advantage for some platforming if you recognize where platforms are, but... Keep running. Okay, you're good. Fuck you. Fuck you too. I think I'm That's right. a tough one. Right. Although, you may want to use the sand for this one. I didn't even think about that. Ah. That's easier with the sand. Oh, fuck you! Aha, I pin you down now, asshole! Hey! That's fuck it. That's what- That's what you deserve! Yeah, fuck. A worthless fucking asshole. The Military practices with Commando Man! Hello! Time's up for a second. Okay, I'm gonna try and fight you with the- Ow. Yeah, watch out for a stomp, by the way. He does a particular stomp move, that's when he does a high jump. He'll come down and try to stun you. He's actually not too hard. Yeah, he seems pretty predictable. Although his commando missile can catch you off guard. Can you fire it towards a wall or fire it right where you are? Which well, yep, you get stunned, or you get too close to him, you're gonna you're gonna feel the force of it. It's pretty powerful. I'm gonna kill you! Watch this shit! Oh, come on! <laughs> Thank goodness, you had enough. So let me see, how many bosses are there? Uh, okay, so Nitro Man six. and... So six. Two more to go, and well, the next one's my personal least favorite. Honestly, to me, one of the hardest robot masters in the entire series. Huh. I think so, anyway. I don't know about other people, I think it's pretty damn hard. It's the way he moves. It is predictable, but goddamn is it hard to dodge. So, Crano Bomb! You got a weapon that wall you can control its direction. Yep. And, and it, it breaks break those walls. God damn it, stop breaking all that shit! You know how many of those I constructed to try to kill you? I mean, you know, uh, forget that I said anything, Mega Man. Good luck! I can stop Blade Man. <sighs> The stage isn't very fun either, but I hate the fight with them more. I've died to this robot master more than any other in the entire Mega Man series. Oh god. I'll say this, don't be afraid to use any tank on him. <laughs> so many axes and shit. Yeah, this stage is pretty hard, especially later on. Yeah, because, you know, conveyor belts. I do like the way the stage looks, though. It's like a nightmare sort of deal. Yeah. It's like a medieval themed stage. See, command missile can help you get stuff like that. Yeah, what the hell? Which you can fire from here. Just remember, you can turn it whatever direction you want based on how you want to move it. Just keep in mind that Mega Man moves as well. So be careful. In some areas using the commando missile can be pretty dangerous. There's gotta be a weapon to kill those things. I don't know what it is. I always hate shooting them. Huh! Crystal Spike! There you go. Eh, you know. I didn't know if you guessed that or knew it, but... Wait, what?! Oh yeah, they ride walls! Yeah. ta -da. I keep forgetting about that! I've, like, never done that, because I never thought about that. Because, you know, I keep... Forgetting. I was wondering why you said it's like a free rush coil. I was like, hmm. I wonder what he means by that. I thought it was a glitch, but no, you can use it to ride it. That's... Yes! Oh, that's actually really fucking neat! Yeah! Wow! That's why I like that weapon. Damn! I didn't even know that! I didn't even fucking play this game. Like, to be fair, I do a lot of homework on this game. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm a Mega Man fan. I kind you of... your homework with Mega Man X7, but that won't save you. Oh, that... There, that won't save you. No matter how much homework I do for that game, there is no way I'll to... I'll continue to say it. If you say X6 is worse than X7, you're fucking wrong. 
Like I said, you and I, you and and, I, and you're probably based, based off just looking at it, trust me. <laughs> Playing it, you will appreciate that much more how much better X6 feels. Yes. Despite some of the bullshit levels on X6, it at least feels good. Yeah, I remember. There are some people that used to say that Mega Man X6 was their least favorite, and this was before. And my, I remember one of the reviewers that said that, and it's like, and they sufficed it in the review by saying, This is before I played X7! Yep. Exactly. People learn. <laughs> Sorry, I got walls in another castle. Sorry. What? <laughs> Thank you, but your sister's in another castle. Fuck. Sorry, but you're in another castle now. You're in my- Wait, what? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I joined what I should have done a long time ago. Killing you with- Robots what? and humans, living in harmony. That is my ultimate wish. I want them to live together so I can kill them. But because, you know... But because humans are so... But because everyone's so incompetent, especially Willy... Yes. It's Wily! You. I like his... I don't like his motives, but I like his ideals. What the fuck, Light? <laughs> he wants peace for all robots. He is what's the rule at the center. Yeah. I want peace for all robots so I can rule over all of them. I, just, I want peace for all robots. So now I can be at the center of it all. I mean, instead of everything. He is what's to rule the robot empire. I want to rule robots and humans. Ooh, free weapon tank. Yeah, why not? Tank the commando bomb. And free weapon energy to make up for it. Trust me when I say, using commando bomb might not be that useful against Blade Man. Although, you're always gonna try. Oh, by the way, careful with these... These little seesaw platforms, by the way. Don't tell me that one long enough, it'll retread. So be very careful with that. And that goes through the platform. <laughs> yep, you have to be like right above it, basically. I don't want to spoil all the surprises. <laughs> yeah, usually I just gun them down so they can't shoot me. Yeah. I'm already dead! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll put the salt in the wound, why don't you? Yeah. Yep. Eh, I do have a lot of lives, though, to be fair, so... Yeah, yeah, I've been collecting lives lately. This stage does have a decent bit. Fuck yeah. him. Screw you, axe-hole. Axe. Fuck. You know, this is probably unnecessary, but fuck it anyway. I just want to do it. I don't wonder how this series ends and leads into X. I wonder if we're ever going to get a hint to that. No. I mean, we only have a hint that Wily created Think of it Zero. This, That's think all of it this we way. have. Think of it this way. Oh. Yes? Like, um... Oh. If they ever did do that sort of thing, like, that would technically mean the technical end of the uh, Mega Man series as a whole. That is true. In a time... Fuck! Because Wily is, like, as known as the main big bad yeah. of Mega like, Man. If they did something like that, the closest thing we could ever get to when it comes to moving forward into the timeline would be something like Mega Man Legends or Battle Network slash Star Force because that's a different timeline so we can get away with something like that. That's right. I have to, I have to wonder. I've only known the Mega Man and regular Mega Man and Mega Man X series who have their own big bads. Yeah. I guess there are different ones for Zero and, uh... For Zero and, uh, Legends. Yeah, for Zero... I guess you could technically kind of assume what... I was gonna say Sigma again, maybe? Somehow? Or something that's supposed to be like X? Eh? Well, you're not too far off about the X one, at least. Yeah, you did say it does sound like the ultimate end is to be, like, have X as, like, a villain. Yeah. Which Zero, I guess, would explain that, which... Considering the hint they did drop of that Mega Man X7 ending, as long as I fucking hate that fucking game. Well... It makes sense. His attitude would actually make a lot more sense if he ended up becoming a, a villain by the end. Yeah. It's like he just got so fed up with it, he's like, Alright, this world needs to be erased. Like, you must die, sort of deal. I'm so tempted to want to use Rush Jet, but I have a feeling that's a really You'll bad get shot idea. at. Don't do it. <laughs> Weird, I like rarely ever use Rush Jet in this game. Now, sometimes it's useful, but other times, as long as you know what you're doing, it should be fine. It looks like I can get away with doing this. Although, you have a full shield up. I usually just bust it myself, because then, then again, I memorized where they all showed up, so. 
I mean, it's not I hard had to memorize them. I had confidence in knowing I'll get them the fuck out of my way. Alright, so... Let's have some fun. Uh, so, here we go. My personal least favorite robot master of the entire series fight. Blade Man! You're gonna go shit me. I'm gonna kill you. He jumps on walls and throws triple blades at you. And... It's a lot of blades. And he moves quickly, so yeah. Trying to hit him with a commander missile is brutally hard. And hitting with a buster is also hard, because he tends to stay up high. Now I see why. Mm -hmm. I hate this boss. If you want to hit him with his weakness, though, try to shoot the missile next to where he is. You gotta be quick, though, because he, he'll move pretty quickly. If you hit him with the splash of a commando bomb, though, you will do a lot of damage. So... Try to get good with it if you can. Like I said, you want to be quick. And well, because you got to move Big Man at the same time, it makes shit a little difficult. And see, hitting with the missile itself does not do an awful lot. Like I said, don't be afraid, you have to use an E-Tank. And plus we're at no lives left, so... Like, this is the one Robot Master I cannot blame people for using E-Tank on, because fucking, this one's... Brutal. Like, the fact that it's hard to hit, and then he has a triple blade, which some can be dodged easily, some good fucking luck. Like, oh god. He's an asshole. I have to wonder, though, the Robo Enzo virus going around, and well, while I'm like working the deck together to take care of all these rogue robots, who created these ones that have gone bad? Yeah. I wonder. One, it does make you wonder, huh? Was it white again? And Wily's trying to cover up for him by helping him get, carry this virus? I wonder. You guys should probably figure it out by now. Yeah, if, if you've played a main Mega Man game, you know what to expect. Yeah. But we'll see that once we take care of Striker, man. Yep. Well, yeah, there we go. He's pretty tough. Yeah, this guy sucks. He moves around a lot, he's hard to hit, and his weapon's kinda hard to dodge! At least when he's on low on the walls, it's hard to dodge. You have to be far away from him, but his weapon is pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, as good as, it's, good, it's definitely as good as his battle makes it out to be, because mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. It's very useful. It'll make the next Robot Master a joke as well. Well, time to buy the E-Tanks I had to use up. Aha, you have no screws! Screw you, Mega Man! Oh, uh, why? Light, I'm gonna kill you. Feel bad before I turn. Strike man, not striker. Excuse me.